What's up, Strawman North Charlotte, Matt Compton here. I've got the new Strawman Sirius cordless scanner, and I'm gonna just kind of do a, a trial run. I've never even scanned with this thing, so I'm gonna do it for the first time. I wanna see how easy it is the first time going. So this is the Sirius scanner. It's all cordless. It's pretty nice and light. You can hold it, you know, however way you normally do it. This is the large tip I'm gonna be using for the denture, but we also have a small tip for it you can kind of see the different sizes here. Let's get cracking. So I'm gonna scan lower first, so the scanner is ready. To scan, you just push this button, and you're good to go. So let's get our lower denture, and let's just see how this thing does. Oh, as I drop it. So I have not studied any kind of technique here, I'm just doing it based on other scanners I've used. So far, so good, pretty smooth. As far as distance, I'm playing with it just to see what it does. Let's change my hand position. So again, if all this technique is wrong, that's my point. I wanna see how easy it is to do if you've never even scanned before. I've scanned before with other scanners, but putting this one to the test with something that's usually somewhat hard to scan. Okay, let me just get all my teeth in there. Okay, that's, that's pretty good so far. Okay, now onto the hard stuff. Let's see how this rolls over. Ah, that's pretty nice. I like it so far. There we go, a little hook, hook up, hiccup. There we go, come on baby. There we go. Okay, what I like is it's, it's picking up the deep spots pretty easily. As you know, if you scan a denture before, it's kind of hard when you're holding it and Try not to turn it. So I'm trying to test it out, see if I can move my hand and the scanner at the same time. There's my finger. And it not confuse the movements. So let's see. There's a better way to do this. I'm gonna do this. We didn't get too far down enough at the original. Yeah, I should have done this first. But we pivot and it worked, so. I'm not gonna erase my fingers later. I took the soft tissue removal off, but it looks like it went back on. Again, first time doing it. I just wanna put it to the test. Okay, it's got some of my fingers still there. I got everything, not too bad. Let's see how that looks. And the speed of post-processing. Let's check that out. Okay. Okay, I removed my fingers. It's good. Not too bad. I like it. It's a touch screen too, so if you want to do the touch, it might be a little easier. I'm using a ball type mouse. You can right click and move the ball around with your thumb. I like that. I missed a spot here, but for this video purpose, it doesn't matter because you know that could get easily done. Okay, now on to the hard part. Let's see if it can do the upper with the reline. So I got a denture here with the upper and a reline in it, and I want to see how well this can scan with the multiple colors. So let's go to upper. And I'll just leave everything that was on before on the same way. So here we go. So far, so good on the colors. It's really nice, actually. 
a lot of times the palette is really difficult to pick up. It's got a very smooth feel to it. I'm gliding over it just like this and it's picking it up really nicely. Get that. There we go. In the spots. Okay, now let's see how we can transition here. I'm slightly touching it with the kind of the middle part. I'm not touching it with the mirror, I'm touching it with kind of the, the shank just to see, can I help me guide myself? It's working pretty good. Pretty well to be correct English. up there but that doesn't bother me because it's doing a pretty good job can okay, also get on these undercuts this is usually the most difficult part but it's doing pretty well Check that out. Okay. I think I miss a spot up here. Yep. Let me fill this in. Okay. See how that turns out. Actually, it's pretty smooth. I gotta tell you, it's not, um, this is a demo unit, so the mirror is slightly speckled, as you can see up there. So, let's look at this and see how we did. I like it. Not bad. Zoom in on these undercuts to see how. To the bite. I don't have a model with this, so I'm going to do my best. It's close enough. Okay, let's do more bite. That's pretty good. Let's review it. Okay, let's check this post process out. So, okay, the inside's good. fill that spot out but it's real life I want to show you what happens when you actually do it so there's a couple of spots I can go back and get it's a good monochrome nice detail Just missing that spot let's compare focus 